Welcome to the world of multi-core computing, provided by the Multi-Core Expert Center at Siemens Corporate Technology in cooperation with the Siemens Software Initiative. We will introduce you to the topic of multi-core programming by reviewing current hardware trends, multi-core benefits, challenges, and necessary software development steps. Software enables us to create powerful products, featuring a large number of innovative functionalities. These functionalities require the powerful processing capabilities of modern microprocessors. Addressing the ever-increasing demand for more computing power, computer architects designed more and more powerful processors, for instance by roughly doubling processor frequencies every two years. In a simple model, if the processor frequency is increased by a factor of two, the processor can execute twice as many clock cycles in the same time. This implies that the processor can do the same work faster. As a consequence, application developers often relied on the steady performance increase from one processor generation to the next, usually referred to as the free lunch. Because increasing the frequency demands more power, frequency scaling cannot continue forever. In response to power constraints and other architectural challenges, the processor industry changed course in 2005 when Intel followed the lead of IBM's Power 4 and Sun Microsystems' Niagara processors in announcing that its high-performance microprocessors would henceforth rely on multiple processing cores, addressing the exponential growth of power consumption by keeping processor frequencies almost constant. Therefore, computer architects are now realizing performance gains by using larger numbers of moderately fast processor cores rather than by further increasing the speed of single-core processors. In general, these multi-core processors provide application developers with opportunities to enable either completely new application scenarios or enhanced functionalities. Let's take a closer look at the benefits multi-core processors offer. Multi-core processors provide higher performance than their sequential predecessors. Because future performance improvements will come almost exclusively from multiple cores, application developers must consider such processors if they want to leverage more computing power for their applications. Computer architects switch to multi-core designs because these processors offer increased energy efficiency. As an additional benefit, associated cooling costs also remain within acceptable limits. Application developers should therefore leverage multi-core processors to avoid unfavorable power consumption or higher cooling costs caused by excessive heat dissipation, potentially in a limited installation space. Moreover, multi-core processors are shipped in huge quantities for mass markets and therefore can be produced at low costs. Reducing the bill of materials even further, application developers can use the computing power of multi-core processors to consolidate different hardware components into a single chip. Although multiple processors offer a wide range of benefits, the question of how Siemens can benefit remains unanswered so far. Let's take a look. In fact, our applications can leverage the additional computing power to run faster and therefore perform more tasks at the same time, process larger or more fine-grained input datasets, and finally incorporate more innovative features. Using energy-efficient multi-core processors, we can, for example, also create applications with increased battery life on mobile devices. Of course, new features previously impossible to execute on single-core processors because of their demanding power requirements can now be realized by utilizing power-efficient multi-core processors. Moreover, multi-core enabled Siemens products are more attractive for price-sensitive M3 markets because of the usage of low-cost, off-the-shelf components. High-end cooling equipment can also be replaced by off-the-shelf components. Multi-core processors can therefore help us secure the innovation future of our products. However, our existing products are usually based on approved software modules designed for single-core processors. These modules are the base for future innovations. In view of the decreasing supply of single-core chips, this innovation base needs to be secured through migration to more powerful processors. 
As we have seen, the new, powerful processors are multi-core processors, replacing conventional single-core processor designs. As a consequence, Siemens developers have to migrate a code base worth approximately 10 billion euros in R&D investment to multi-core processors. Because such a huge migration cannot be done overnight, it needs to be carefully prepared and secured throughout the entire migration phase. Applications are consequently being required to harness new and potentially much higher degrees of parallelism in order to satisfy their growing demand for computing power. Effectively harnessing this parallelism available on modern multi-core processors becomes increasingly challenging. Developers are faced with non-deterministic parallel execution behaviors. Concurrency bugs, such as deadlocks and data races, adversely affect the correctness of our applications. Since these bugs may not occur on a single-core machine and, even more striking, may only occur sporadically, identifying such errors during the development phase is difficult but certainly crucial. As a consequence, developers often resort to using a large number of safeguarding synchronization operations in their applications. The resulting application may now be correct, but the execution is delayed by these synchronization operations. As a consequence, the multi-core application is not any faster and may even be slower than the single-core version. As it turns out, meeting correctness and performance expectations for programs running on today's complex hardware can require significant effort. The huge amount of added synchronization, the additional effort for locating and fixing concurrency bugs, and the often missing tool infrastructure results in underestimated effort and causes severe project delays. Summarizing the insights we have gained so far, we can state that multi-core processors offer great benefits we can take advantage of. However, these benefits do not come free. In particular, developing software for multi-core processors requires additional software development steps. In a first step, software architects and developers need to find out where concurrency occurs in their applications. In a second step, software architects and developers need to find out how a suitable parallel implementation can be done for their products. In a third step, software architects and developers need to verify that their implementation actually works effectively and efficiently. On a more technical level, software architects and developers initially have to identify concurrency in their application. It certainly makes sense to start with those parts of the target application that represent a significant fraction of the overall execution time. Those so-called hotspots are ideal candidates for parallelization. To bridge the gap between hardware and software, and thus to exploit the available parallelism, software architects and developers have to understand the parallel execution of their applications even further. In fact, the key challenge is to map application parallelism to the execution units of multi-core processors. During this phase, identified data dependencies and control flows are necessary prerequisites for defining scalable parallel software architectures. The actual implementation must also rely on established and proven software components. The most effective way to ensure this is to use libraries that simplify parallel programming by providing predefined algorithms, containers, synchronization primitives, schedulers, and memory allocators. An effective and efficient parallelization additionally requires not only developer training, but also a change of current tool infrastructures. Presented with concurrently running threads and processes that often simultaneously access shared resources, developers have to meet the correctness and performance requirements of their applications. This requires substantial tool support. Nobody is interested in how fast your application calculates the wrong answer, so validation and verification techniques must be tightly integrated into the development process. For instance, dynamic data race detectors offer a convenient mechanism for analyzing the correctness of a multi-core application. Again, necessary runtime synchronization might adversely affect the overall runtime performance and can even slow down applications. As a consequence, developers require a multi-core aware runtime analysis infrastructure to support them in optimizing their codes. 
For instance, parallel monitoring, profiling and tracing tools assist developers by pointing them directly to potential performance inefficiencies. Following this parallelization process, developers additionally relying on a powerful and supportive multi-core tool infrastructure can create innovative, high-quality multi-core based products. Summarizing the insights we have gained throughout this training, we can state the following. Multi-core processors equip our products with more computing power and energy efficiency at lower cost. Because multi-core software development is different from the development for single-core processors, new programming skills and tool landscapes are also required. Would your product benefit from more computing power and energy efficiency at lower costs? Is your product development team familiar with and prepared for multi-cores? We hope that you have enjoyed our overview of multi-core computing and we invite you to contact us with any multi-core related questions. The Siemens Corporate Technology Multicore Expert Center, together with the Siemens Software Initiative, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.